Three days after the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas, top police officials told the world a school staffer had left open the door the gunman used to enter Robb Elementary. That statement was retracted a few days later, but today, for the first time, we are hearing from that staffer and seeing exclusive new, newly obtained video that backs up her story. It's all part of Uvalde 365, a continuing ABC News series reported from Uvalde and focused on the Texas community and how it forges on in the shadow of tragedy. Here's our John Quinones with the emotional interview. It was just days after a gunman killed 21 in a Uvalde elementary school that Texas police said this. We know from video evidence at 1127, the exterior door where we knew the shooter entered was propped open by a teacher. But that woman, a school staffer, Emilia Amy Marin, speaking for the first time, says those words from law enforcement vilified her to her own community. He said, a teacher left the door propped open. And I looked at my daughter and I said, that's a lie. Did you hear anything about what they were saying about you? I did. People think she needs to be fired for what she did, leaving the door open, but I know what I did. Just a few days later, the Texas Department of Public Safety retracted the statement, admitting that Marin had closed the door, but that it didn't lock automatically like it was supposed to. Now, video footage from the school, newly obtained by ABC News and still not released to the public, shows that Marine, in fact, did what she was supposed to do when she spotted the gunman crash the car and approach school grounds with a rifle. We asked her to start from the beginning. Can you tell me what you're doing there? I'm rolling the cart out because I'm going to go meet my coworker outside. I'm running in to get my phone. Because? Because the crash happened already. And you're calling 911 yes. to get help. Mm -hmm. My first thought was somebody had a heart attack because he was coming like 80 miles an hour. And then he hit the rail and then crashed into the ditch. You're I'm running to him to help him. Little do you know, he has a gun. Yes. Marine kicks the rock away that was holding the door open. You see me kick the rock and, and pull the door. The door shut. You did not leave it open? No. As I'm running back, I tell her, he's got a gun, he's shooting. What could possibly have been going on through your mind? Panic. All the kids that were there on campus. I'm telling her to, t to please hurry. The kids were playing outside in the playground over uh -huh. here, and I see them running and s screaming. You wish you could take that day back for all the children and the teachers? To have them all back. Yeah. What do you think of when you see that video? I was scared, but... but I knew what I had to do. to get them in uh, to their rooms t to be safe. Come on, guys, hurry, come on! And they're coming in and I'm yelling at them, get in your rooms, get in your rooms. Shouldn't investigators have seen that video, watched that video, studied that video before accusing you of leaving the door open? Why didn't they? That's their job. That is their job to investigate. Today, Marine says the shooting and its aftermath have traumatized her. Her body shakes, she speaks with a stutter, and she suffers from anxiety and depression. I am suffering mentally, of course. Emotionally, I still don't sleep. I see those victims' faces. I pray for them every night. What do you want to tell the director of the DPS today? McCraw. To Mr. McCraw, it is your job to investigate when any incident happens like that. You chose not to watch the whole video. You chose to blame me because you saw me put a rock on that door. You would think that they know 
their job well. He has no idea what his words did to me. I will never be that person that I was before. I did die that day. I see the windows boarded up and the fence around the campus. I tell my counselor, I'm in there. I'm still in there. Still. I died that day. It's not right for me to smile or laugh. It's not fair. You think they're intentionally trying to make you the scapegoat? Yes. Yes. That's exactly what they were trying to do. Is there any way they can make up for that? No, sir. A powerful interview. Our thanks to John Quinones for that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.